Wow, so, so this is your kitchen? Yeah. Today, I'm meeting Jack Graves. Wow, is this, a, is this an air fryer? A recently released prisoner who successfully overturned his conviction for murder and now helps others do the same. Do you cook everything in here now? Or, or... Are we going to do this interview? Are you just going to keep asking me about my kitchen stuff? Jack isn't familiar with my BAFTA award-winning style of walking around my guest's house before the interview starts and saying awkward, boring things. Oh, is, is this a, a, a steam mop? Oh, I love steam mops. This is, how's this one? Does this one work or how do you use it? <clears throat> right, are we ready? What strikes me most when reading about you is you were never really that remorseful about what you did. That's because I didn't do it. Didn't you? No. Really? Yes. Why, why are you pulling that face? S stop pulling that face. Louis, stop pulling that face or I'll punch it inside out. At this point in the interview, I sense some tension. Jack was moody, angry, vengeful. It seemed as if years of bottled torment were now overflowing on my show, guaranteeing at least another BAFTA nomination this year. You better not be putting your condescending faux journalist Kermit the Frog bullshit narration over this bit. It seems to me you blame yourself for what happened. When did I say that? But you do, don't you? No, I don't. Don't. Right. At this point, Jack left the interview. Where's he gone? Has is, is he left? Leaving many questions unanswered. But one thing's for sure. Him walking out like that has definitely got me another BAFTA.